Is China preparing for a major war? It's a question that's been circling global news and sparking debates among experts. The implications of this question are vast, touching upon issues of global security, economic stability, and diplomatic relations. As the world's most populous nation and a rising superpower, China's intentions carry weight and can shape the course of international politics. This is why we are here today, to explore 10 signs that might suggest that China is gearing up for a conflict. We'll examine each sign, from military modernization to resource stockpiling, to give you a comprehensive understanding of the situation. This isn't about fear-mongering or speculation, but about fostering awareness and promoting informed discussions. So let's delve into the signs that point towards a potential escalation of tensions. The first sign is China's aggressive military modernization. This is not about simple upgrades to existing equipment. No, we're talking about a comprehensive overhaul of China's military capabilities. From the development of advanced weapons and cutting-edge technology to the restructuring of their forces, China is making strategic moves to enhance their military prowess. This modernization provides them with the ability to project power far beyond their borders a capability that was previously limited. Perhaps one of the most telling aspects of this is their focus on developing smaller, more mobile units, designed to gather intelligence, share target data, and occasionally engage in missile strikes. This shift hints at a strategy designed to counter modern warfare tactics and secure China's home field advantage. The implications are clear. China is preparing for a potential conflict scenario with a technologically advanced adversary. China's military modernization is a clear sign of its increasing global ambitions. China's rapid accumulation of commodities is another sign worth noting. This significant stockpiling includes resources like gold and oil, which are crucial for any nation's economic resilience and military operations. This activity has sparked speculation among analysts. Some suggest that China is preparing for a potential conflict possibly over hotly contested areas such as Taiwan. Others believe that the country is bolstering its economy to resist potential sanctions, similar to those imposed on other global players like Russia. This stockpiling trend could also be part of China's broader strategy to enhance self-reliance, thereby reducing its vulnerability to Western economic pressure. Under President Xi Jinping's leadership, achieving autonomy and strengthening China's position on the global stage is a key strategic goal. The stockpiling of resources is a strategic move that may signal China's preparation for a potential conflict. The third sign comes from China's increased military drills in and around the South China Sea. These exercises, far from being routine, have grown both in frequency and complexity. They involve a wide range of military capabilities, from naval fleets to airborne units showcasing China's growing prowess and readiness to project power beyond its immediate borders. Moreover, these drills are not just about flexing military muscle, they are strategic moves aimed at asserting China's territorial claims and influence in the region. These exercises are often conducted near disputed areas, causing unease among neighboring countries and escalating regional tensions. The nature of these drills also gives us a glimpse into China's evolving military doctrine. They focus on rapid mobilization, joint operations, and modern warfare techniques, reflecting a shift towards a more offensive posture. This could potentially tip the balance of power in the region, threatening the status quo and challenging the established order. The amplified military drills demonstrate China's readiness for potential military action. They signal a bold and assertive stance, a clear departure from its earlier doctrine of hide your strength, bide your time. While it's not a definitive sign of imminent conflict, it certainly contributes to the growing sense of uncertainty and apprehension about China's intentions and future actions. The fourth sign is the escalating tensions over Taiwan. The status of Taiwan, a democratic island off the southeastern coast of China, has long been a contentious issue between the two nations. China considers Taiwan to be a part of its territory and has not ruled out the use of force to bring it under its control. Meanwhile, Taiwan maintains that it is an independent country with its own government, military and foreign relations. Recently, these tensions have been escalating, with China ramping up pressure on Taiwan. We've seen everything from increased military drills in the Taiwan Strait to heightened rhetoric from Chinese officials asserting their claims over Taiwan. On the other side, civilians in Taiwan are preparing for potential conflict by engaging in civil defense training and exercises. 
In the international arena, the Taiwan issue is a diplomatic powder keg. Many countries, including the United States, have urged China to resolve the issue peacefully, warning that any attempt to change the status quo by force would have serious consequences. The ongoing tensions over Taiwan could potentially escalate into a larger conflict. The fifth sign is China's focus on cyber warfare. This form of warfare is rapidly becoming a critical component of modern conflict, and China is not lagging behind. In fact, it's excelling. Its state-backed cyber units have been reported to have significant capabilities, including the ability to disrupt, deceive, and degrade an adversary's operations. China's cyber strategy is twofold. On the defense side, it has been building robust systems to protect its own digital infrastructure from foreign attacks. On the offense, it's developing sophisticated techniques to infiltrate foreign systems. The targets are not just military. They extend to a nation's critical infrastructure such as power grids, transportation networks, and even financial systems. This is not just a hypothetical scenario. There have been numerous reports of Chinese cyber activities aimed at gathering intelligence, stealing technology, and potentially laying the groundwork for future cyber attacks. Why is this important? Well, in a potential conflict scenario, these cyber capabilities could be used to cause widespread disruption and confusion, weakening an adversary before physical combat even begins. China's focus on cyber warfare is a clear indication of its readiness for a new kind of combat. China's space ambitions serve as the sixth sign. The country has been investing heavily in its space program, launching satellites at a pace that rivals, and at times outstrips, that of the United States. But it's not just about the prestige of being a spacefaring nation. These space missions could have dual uses, serving not only peaceful scientific exploration but also military objectives. In a potential conflict, satellites play a critical role. They provide communication, navigation, weather data, and most importantly, intelligence. Reconnaissance satellites can monitor troop movements, identify strategic targets, and provide early warnings of missile launches. By having a robust network of satellites, China could enhance its military capabilities and potentially gain an edge in a conflict scenario. China's space station, the Tiangong, serves as another example. While it's primarily a scientific endeavor, the strategic value of having a permanent presence in space cannot be overlooked. It could serve as a platform for surveillance or even as a base for anti-satellite weapons. China's activities in space could potentially serve military purposes in a future conflict. The seventh sign is China's economic preparations for a potential conflict. A key part of these preparations is China's ambitious Belt and Road Initiative. This global development strategy involves infrastructure development in over 70 countries across Asia, Africa, and Europe. But it's not just about building roads and bridges, it's also about creating economic ties and dependencies that could serve as leverage in a potential conflict. China has also been rapidly accumulating commodities such as gold and oil. This move could be seen as a way to bolster its economy against potential sanctions or economic pressures. In a world where economic power often translates into strategic advantage, these stockpiles could provide China with a buffer to withstand economic fallout from a conflict. Moreover, China's push for technological independence such as advances in 5G technology and artificial intelligence may also be part of its war readiness. By reducing its reliance on Western technology, China could be preparing itself against potential technological blockades or disruptions. China's economic initiatives could be a sign of its readiness for any potential economic fallout from a conflict. The eighth sign is the escalating diplomatic tensions between China and other countries. In the realm of international relations, diplomatic tensions often serve as a harbinger of potential conflict. China has been locked in a series of diplomatic disputes, not only with its neighboring countries over territorial issues, but also with Western powers over a myriad of issues including trade, human rights, and technological dominance. The West, led by the United States, has been increasingly critical of China's policies, leading to a significant cooling of relations. This diplomatic frostiness isn't just confined to the West. In Asia, countries are becoming more wary of China's assertive posture in the region, especially in the South China Sea. These escalating diplomatic tensions are not just abstract political disagreements, they have real-world implications, often resulting in economic sanctions and military posturing. It's a game of high-stakes chess on the global stage with each move potentially bringing us closer to a more significant conflict. 
Increasing diplomatic tensions could potentially escalate into a larger conflict. The ninth sign is the ongoing disputes over territories. China's territorial disputes with its neighbors have long been a source of tension. These disputes often involve strategic areas such as the South China Sea, where China has been assertively asserting its claims over disputed islands and maritime zones. This has put it at odds with several Southeast Asian nations and even with the United States, which conducts freedom of navigation operations in the disputed waters. Territorial disputes are not just about land or sea. They're about resources, strategic advantages, and national pride. In the East China Sea, China's dispute with Japan over the Senkaku or Diaoyu Islands is a potential flashpoint. And then there's the contentious India-China border dispute in the Himalayas, which saw a deadly clash in June 2020. These disputes could potentially escalate into larger conflicts. The stakes are high, and the situation is fraught with danger. All it takes is one misstep, one miscalculation, and these simmering disputes could boil over into a full-blown war. Territorial disputes could be a trigger for a potential conflict. The final sign is China's domestic preparations for a potential conflict. Civilian readiness is a fundamental part of any nation's preparedness for conflict, and China is no exception. It's not just about military might, it's also about how equipped the civilian population is to cope with potential disruptions and emergencies. We're seeing an uptick in civil defense training and exercises in China, a clear indication of a broader national strategy. Such preparations are not limited to physical readiness. They also encompass digital resilience, with training to counter online manipulation campaigns. These efforts are aimed at fortifying the nation from within strengthening its capacity to withstand potential conflict situations. Individuals are also taking matters into their own hands, stockpiling supplies and undergoing training to protect themselves and their communities. This grassroots movement is a testament to the seriousness with which the possibility of conflict is being taken. But it's important to remember that preparation does not necessarily mean anticipation. These domestic preparations could be a reflection of a nation's desire to be ready for any eventuality rather than a surefire sign of imminent conflict. China's domestic preparations could be a sign of its readiness for a potential conflict. These 10 signs give us an insight into China's potential preparations for a major conflict. From military modernization and resource stockpiling to increased military drills and rising tensions over Taiwan, the signs are increasingly difficult to ignore. Plus, the advent of cyber warfare and ambitious space programs, coupled with economic preparations and heightened diplomatic tensions, paint a picture of a nation gearing up for something big. The disputed territories and domestic preparations further underscore the gravity of the situation. These signs collectively point towards a noticeable shift in China's strategic focus, which could potentially have profound implications for global security. If these signs are indeed indicators of China's preparation for a major conflict, it would mean a significant shift in the balance of global power and could potentially destabilize international relations. While these signs do not definitively confirm that China is preparing for war, they do suggest an escalation in preparations and a noticeable shift in China's strategic focus.